It's time. Hello and welcome to a brand new vlog series. It's Vlogmas. It is December. We are vlogging every day. I am headed on an 18 night trip to Disney World and Disneyland and I'm going to take you guys along with me. If you're new here, my name is Bethany Vinton. I do all things Disney parks, specifically food and beverage. Uh, mainly Disney World, but I also do some Disneyland, which I will be doing on this trip. So if you're coming back again, hello, welcome back. It's good to see you, but let's do it. We're headed to Disney World, 18 nights, five different reservations. We are staying at a value resort, a moderate resort and a deluxe resort, and we're staying club level at Disney World. So it's gonna be a fun time. Disneyland should be fun as well, but I'm about to go board my flight to Orlando. I have a red eye. And next thing I know, I'll be in Orlando and we'll be headed to Epcot. So let's do it. Let's kick off Vlogmas. All right, I've made it to Orlando. I am taking Sunshine Flyer this morning. I always get asked what's the easiest way to get from the airport to the resorts. It's either Mirrors or Sunshine Flyer. I've done Mirrors a bunch of times. It's down that side of the hallway and on the other end of the hallway is Sunshine Flyer. Um, both pretty much the same, I will say. I've done Sunshine Flyer once before. I thought they were super friendly and they just did a Black Friday deal. So I think it was $12 and some change for my uh, ride to my resort. So let's get our bags. We're headed to All Star Music, so let's go do it. And I've made it to my first resort room. I have four different resort stays on this trip, a value, a moderate, and a deluxe, and we're starting with the value. So I guess we'll just go up from here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm staying at All Star Music. There's three All Star Resorts, movies and sports as well. I've never stayed at any of them. Honestly, I've never even been over here. So it's actually really pretty. I've been impressed. I've always been a Pop Century girl if I do a value resort, but I will say it gives me Pop Century vibes. It's the same. It's been refurbished. So it has the Murphy bed that pulls down, but I'm by myself. So this is just extra room for me, which is nice. And this lovely bed, let's turn on some lights and give it a cool effect. I'm assuming the other light turns on from the other side of the bed. Let's see. There she is. That's cute though. A lot of pillows because again, since that's a Murphy bed and folds up, all the pillows are here. Um, but I like this. I've slept at Pop Century like with both beds down and I don't think it's that bad. But when it is up, it's nice because there's plenty of room to walk around. Um, value resorts, you don't get K-cups. You get the like little disc pod things. I still love this coffee though. Uh, ice bucket that has really seen better days, I'll be honest. Fridge, I like the fridge here though. I'm not even gonna lie because I like the see-through fridge. I think that's fun. Uh, let's see what else. Is that purposely, is that purposely not matching? I'm curious. Is that like a design element? But I don't know if that's a design element or not. <laughs> well, Disney World Today is on. Love that one. That's always good. Just a good amount of storage. Your safe is in here. Jeez Louise. And then, I will say, this has a very nice mirror. Uh, Pop Century is the same way, and I really like it. I've never complained about it. A nice little closet to hang a bunch of stuff. There's a good amount of storage here. Always like that one. And then we got our nice little shower. It's cute. It's the same as Pop Century. Um, and our beloved H2O that's going away. But... I want to say with the pass holder discount, this room was $113 a night. Uh, there was a pass holder discount. And with taxes, it came up to like a little under $140. I think it was like $136.99 or something. So 
Uh, I'll be here tonight. So when this video goes live, I'm no longer here. I'm going to be at a new resort and you'll have to stay tuned to see what resort I'm going to be at. But yes, I'm on a 19 day adventure. I just got in off the red eye. I'm going to refresh in my face and then head over to Epcot because why not? Um, I will break down Sunshine Flyer really fast actually though. I will say I think Mirrors is more organized when it comes to getting on the bus. I think the people that work at Sunshine Flyer are nicer and it did take a while. It took me about 20 minutes to get a bus and then it took about 50 minutes to get to my resort. We made four stops, which I think Mirrors says they max out at three. I could be wrong. I'll have to look it up and then I'll put the info here, but yes. <laughs> Colin said, let me see the boots because I am in the country fair section. I said, country fair? I thought it was an all-star music, uh, but there are cowboy boots out there. So I'll go show them the cowboy boots. I'll go show you the cowboy boots. So let's take a quick little tour and then let's head to Epcot. But I have a nice wooded view. It's not bad. I'm in room five, 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 zero. Jeez, please, but look how cute these people are next to me. They decorated for Christmas and I love it. But a nice wooded view. Let's go find the cowboy boots. Well, I have found the cowboy boots and they have a hidden Mickey in the back, but they are huge. I feel like this is a good section for me. I, I, I love country music. I used to always go to CMA Fest, so. How I get down is a whole nother story. Where are the stairs? Why isn't there a sign that says stairs this way? Oh, there they are, there they are. Okay, let's go take the stairs. Too complicated, too complicated. In life, I am a very big sucker for theming, so I guess this is like the jukebox era, but that's an amp. That's pretty cool. I like that. Well, let's continue exploring. I believe there's two pools here. This one open at 10. I see Ariel in there. That's cute. Um, let's keep exploring. I do like this attention to detail. So this is like the jazz section, but giving me very New Orleans vibes. The fountain doesn't work, but I like the New Orleans vibes. That's a nice touch, but I can get behind that. Did I vlog a single thing in Epcot? No, but the thing is when I get down here and I see my friends that I haven't seen in a while, I just want to catch up. So I did, I tried a few things at Festival of the Holidays. My favorite being the peanut stew from Refreshment Outpost, that was really good. And I also really loved uh, the beef noodle bowl from China, delicious. I also did try the salmon push pop. I'm just gonna insert the video here. I did a Instagram live while trying it and it was rough, but I edited it down and I'll just, I'll put it in here. Trying the salmon push pop from Epcot's Festival of the Holidays. So again, do we eat <laughs> Guys, I can't. <laughs> Show everybody the end. We gotta push up a little. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> this was a good idea. <laughs> First off, oh, this God. is the worst visual ever. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> me. And Penelope did it. Please stop it. All right, let's try it, people. Don't you dare use a spoon. <laughs> go. Do it. <laughs> oh. I can't swallow this. You have to, go. I think I, <laughs> I genuinely think I might throw up. Here, don't throw up, please don't throw up, I'll throw up. Oh my God. That is horrid. But yes, thank you for coming along with me as I ate this absolute disaster of a food. I have never hated anything more. Um, don't order that. You're welcome. But that being said now, I'm gonna head over to Hollywood Studios. I did just buy Genie Plus, it's five in the afternoon. Was that a smart idea? Absolutely not. Could I have been stacking all day? Absolutely. Am I dumb? Yes. I came back from the parks at like two. I took a three hour nap. Now I'm gonna go to Hollywood Studios, try a few new things that are on the menu there and ride some rides and then hopefully watch Fantasmic because I haven't seen it. It came back two days after I left and I love Fantasmic. So let's do all those things. 
I'm well rested now, I think, but let's head to Hollywood Studios. You can't tell me Hollywood Studios is not tree magic at night. I think it's the best park at night for um, the holidays. But I just tried the new bowls, the new waffle bowls. I'm just confused by them. They're really good. The one I had, I got the pork belly. Don't get the point why it's in a waffle bowl, but let's go grab a drink at Tuna and Lunch. I'm gonna grab a cocktail and we're gonna go ride Slinky Walk. Look at the dinosaur. Just magic. All right, we came over to uh, Oasis Canteen instead because there was no holiday drinks, but we're about to try the in-holiday fashion. Buffalo Trace bourbon, rosemary syrup, cranberry, lime, cinnamon, and it has a, a little sprig in it. So let, let's go try this somewhere. I will say this. I like when a specialty drink features something like bourbon because I feel that most of the specialty drinks right now are like frozen hot chocolates or the hot chocolate flight. And while that's great, I don't want something sweet. I'd rather have a drink. I feel a lot of things tend to be super sweet, so I know this isn't going to be, but look how cute it is. It's a little spring. I... I think she put at least five ounces of bourbon in this. No joke. She poured a lot. She poured like half a cup. I mean, I'm not mad at this. Poured half a cup and then would have got more. But this is delicious. This is a good sipping drink. Uh, even if you don't like old fashions, I feel like you might like this because it has no bitters in it. It's just lime and cranberry. It's very holiday. It smells like Christmas. It has cinnamon and rosemary. I approve. I rarely have moments where I just like sit in the park and enjoy myself by myself. But they have an entire Christmas show with the Muppets on Tower and it's amazing. I'm assuming it's going to snow at the end of this, but I have my a Christmas on the beach cocktail. It's like a rum based cocktail with coconut and blue curacao, but it's like a 7 out of 10. It's delicious, but it's really sweet. But this is magic. There's, I, there's rarely times where I'm in the park by myself and I just get to enjoy this. So I'm going to go back to enjoying it, but this is your sign to take a solo trip. I'm not even kidding. Solo trips used to be my favorite, and now that I know so many people, I never get a solo trip anymore. Which I'm not complaining about because I love the people I come to Disney with. But tonight's been perfect. Alright, I'm going to Fantastic now because I did my Genie Plus today. The only thing that I did on Genie Plus was Slinky Dog Dash. And it was fine when I did it. Um, it booked it like 40 minutes from whatever. But I had a Mickey and Minnie's for 8.30, and usually if I could tap in five minutes early, it wouldn't have been a big deal. Beeline, I'll insert said photo. Snake back so much, I would be... A